Welcome back to the channel guys. In this quick video, I wanna make sure that you can watch this video and get immediately back to the chemo grinding. So I wanna break this down as quickly and as fast as possible. This is gonna be the best strategy to chemo grinding and it's not in Liberty Falls. Today, I'm gonna to give you the best path to unlock Packet Punch. Even though you probably already know how to unlock Packet Punch, this is gonna be strictly for the best way to do it for chemo grinding, as well as some of the great tips and questions that other people on stream ask me for their chemo grinds. Now, one, if this video helps you out at all, please let me know in the comment section down below and any kind of feedback you might have. But two, probably the most important thing is if you have questions about Camel Grinding, Black Ops 6 Zombies, Rob Base Zombies, anything like that, I'd love to help everybody out and stream. So come over and even if we need to play together to do it, I love doing that. But also three, if there's any kind of updates on the Camel Grinds, the best methods and strategies like that, make sure you're subscribed so that way you get the videos whenever I upload those videos or shorts. But with that, let's just get right into this break, this quick breakdown. So in today's video, I'm not going to be breaking down like best loadouts and best weapons or things like that. I'm not gonna be breaking down all the best augments and stuff. If you have any kind of question on that, I do already have videos posted on that um, from free patch, from pre-launch, but this is gonna strictly be about just the direct path and setting up the game to make sure you have a really successful and very easy chemo grind. But that's really like, now this strat has gotten most of my weapons to go pretty much in under about three hours. Uh, the goal overall is to be able to get 800 critical kills each game. So that means that you need about two and a half games. And that third game that you will use, that third game that you use is ultimately gonna be in order to open up or in order to get those special camos done. Now, this is the exact path that you wanna follow. This is what I always do. I always open that and every cap, every gobble gum that you pass every round, make sure to grab it if, if you have a good gobble gum pack. If you have any kind of question on the right gobble gum to use for the camo grind, I do have a video that kind of breaks down like literally statistically and analytically what are the best camos to grind. All right, once this is open, you're gonna come this way. You're not gonna go the other way. You're gonna come this way. Now you need, remember this, 2270 or 2750 points in order to go from this door straight to the next generator if you want to make it the easiest. So that's 2,750 rounds or 2,750 essence in order to open up the next door. So the reason why I stay over here is because that way I can quickly finish up this round. If you don't have that full 2,750 uh, readily available by the time you get to this door to just go straight to the next generator, that's fine because sometimes there's gonna be some zombies in the next one that you can be able to kill and get some point and get their points from. But I just like to stay up here to confirm. I basically need about another 2010 uh, essence. All right, that's our 2750. Open up this door. Zombies kill each other over there. Open up this door. Bam, right there. 2750, like I said, is the best. It's gonna be the best, the, that really good number to make sure that you're good because you're also likely gonna run out of ammo at this point. So you're gonna need that extra, that those extra points to make sure that you actually have enough points for ammo, just like that. I wish just like that. Now, sometimes a decoy would also be great here because you can throw a decoy in case the thing is overwhelmed while you're trying to grab uh, ammo. Before I move on to the next one, I always finish this round off over here before the, so that way I have, while I have the zombies are all spawning right here. So it's super easy. Last zombie, we're gonna pass a gobble gum machine. Guess what? We're gonna go ahead and, and test our luck. See if we can grab one of our good gobble gums for camel grinding. Now, for the next door, you're going to want to make sure that you have 3,750 points here. You need 3,750 points here. Now, there is speed cola in here. So let's say you get to this point and you get overwhelmed or something like that. You won't actually need to have the full 3750. 3650 will be enough. You might also get a couple extra zombie kills on your way down there, but I just like to mid max it as quickly as possible. So this is what I like to do. 3750 is what we need, but we got 3695, that's okay. End of the round, that's exactly what I mean by uh, if you don't have the full 3750. If I had gotten like an extra crit. Okay. 3750 takes us right up to the top of here. Uh, recommendation, don't do this and have this uh, this um, route at the same time because it's going to be a bit tough. All done. Now, 
before I do anything, before I do anything, I like to end this round before I go down and grab up and bring pack a punch up here. This is very important to remember before you do anything because you want all the zombies um, or enemies that are around to continue spawning and not have their spawn uh, point somewhere else. So you can do it as quickly as possible. There we go. Rattle's done. I'm gonna go ahead and jump out and so pack. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna pack a punch yet. I'm not gonna upgrade my weapon. If you are grinding a weapon that is on the wall, so you guys need to know which one is on the walls. For instance, the C9 is on the wall. The uh, X4 is on the wall. Um, yeah, if you have a weapon that's on the wall, you want to just really save up or use the Gobble Gum to be able to, be able to buy that weapon after level 11, because at that point, it'll likely be um, blue tier. We're only staying in the game to about round 26. Maybe if you have a really good gun, like the PP919, uh, you can stay until round 31. And I'm going to get up to 5,500 Essence. The reason why you want 5,500 Essence, is that's because that's going to give you your first two um, perks. You guys don't know, but the first two perks that you want to get are not going to be Juggy Quick Arrive. The very first things you're going to buy after opening up Pack a Punch is going to be Speed Cola and Deadshot. And that's because a lot of the weapons in the game um, feel very, very, very weak. And so you need a lot of, you need a lot of DPS. What's going to give you a lot of damage per second? Not healing or not Jug, not Quick Arrive. Speed Cola will because you're able to reload faster, which means you can get back into shooting faster. And that shall give you more DPS, not only because you need the critical kills for your camel grind, but also because, but also because it does just does more damage. Um, also, do every single trial that you come across. And now there is a there is a strat to using them because if you use the strats, if you use the uh, trials correctly, the trials will end the round that you're on. Now, once I come over here, my next goal, get enough points to be able to go ahead and buy pack a punch. So next goal is 5,000 points. Last goal was 5,500. This goal, 5,000. Our next goal is to pack a punch, right? So we can do more DPS. And then after that, we also want to get our weapon to blue tier rarity. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. I think this is probably a trap kill in this area. That's fine. The trials, they spawn in non-rounded, non-round zombies. So the zombies are not in the round. So you would get more critical kills and more zombie kills because of the because of the trials. The trials also oftentimes give you a blue tier or a blue tier uh, pack a punch, a blue tier uh, rarity, or um, enough scrap to be able to get blue tier rarity. So we're gonna go ahead and get our more DPS. And I like to use Cryo Freeze to slow the zombies down. So after we can do a lot of damage, our next goal is to protect ourselves. How do we protect ourselves? That's where we go ahead and grab our um, our jug, our quick revive, and our armor. This is a great spot to to train the zombies, especially if you keep this down here. You've got a couple rounds before this goes up, but you can call it right back down afterwards. Yes, sir. <laughs> go ahead and use this because I just want to use it. The kills with it while it's all active. So that way I can do my research. I'm going to go up with it because both Jug and Quick Revival are here. Now, it might be a little bit difficult sometimes to remember exactly how much each perk costs. The easiest way to figure that out is by counting up like this. I have three perks. So I'm going to go 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 40 means the next perk is going to be 4,000 points. And then the following perk is going to be 4,500 points. So that means I need 8,500 points. I'm going to go ahead with my jug because I got enough money to do it. And we're going to go ahead and start the next trial. Make sure that if you're using a mini map, you check your mini map when you're walking backwards to make sure that you are not going to get trapped. Again, if you don't know the death shot trick, all you do is just aim and you just continuously like spam the ADS button over and over. And that'll give you much, much, much more quick, sh quick shots. This might give us a prick that we want. Now notice how that round waited until I finished that trial. And that's because um, you want to finish trials first. So I was telling you guys that downstairs is a great place to train. Here is a great place to train as well. I prefer downstairs to so like rounds pretty much 20 and on. But if you want to hang out up here because you want to grab some eggs and perks, um, and stuff. This is a great place to do it. So remember, in order to count the amount of perks that we need, 
Now, typically, you'd only need 7,500 points after you grab, um... You only need 7,500 points after you grab your, uh, packet punch. But because I got extra points from... Let's go. Because I got that extra perk, uh, I cost a little bit more. So you just have to be always cautious of that. Now, after you grab your perks, you're going to want to for sure go ahead and grab your two, your two, uh, play armor. So, two play armor is 4,000 points. So... You just what's the getting gotta remember four thousand points. I know that I've got enough of quick revive and I'm at thirty two hundred, so I need um about eight hundred more points. So I'm just gonna go ahead down next to the two play armor area. Guess what? Another round has changed. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the gobble gun machine. I get every single time I'm hitting a gobble gun machine. All right, there's the two play. So two plays right there. I'm gonna hang out next to the two play armor vest. So that way as soon as I got enough money, enough points for it, I go ahead and grab my two play. This, like I said, is a great place to train. I got my 4,000 points. I'm gonna go ahead now and grab this two plate. And we're good. So the next goal is to get our weapon to perfect rarity. Perfect rarity costs 2,500 uh, scrap or a salvage. So if you've got on the suppressor that gives you like more salvage and like this should be a cakewalk for you. But because that's the next thing I need after this round, again, we move in between rounds. We do things in between rounds. After this round, I'm going to go ahead down and hang out near near the pack of punch. Except there is a trial right here. So we're going to go to the trial instead. What can it trap? That's cool. It sucks because we can't get crits. But uh, if it gives us a purple a purple tier um, purple tier uh, ether crystal or um, ether tool, then we don't have to use our, our scout for that. Oh, that's 35. Perfect. Look at that. I promise you that's not content creator streamer luck. <laughs> so now I've got that. And I'm for the most part set up. My next few things. That... <laughs> Hold on. I was going to change my, my, <laughs> from both of my camera down so you guys can see what, uh, what level I'm on. I promise you, I promise you, I don't have, <laughs> you know what? That's you guys. You guys are the reason why I just got that. You guys are praying for me to get exactly what I need. Exactly when I need it. <laughs> All right. So from this point, we've got our purple two weapon. We've got our, our level two armor. We've got our uh, pack one. The next thing is just to continue upgrading our weapon and to practice our farming technique. So this is while the designers are simple. This is where you kind of really want to just practice exactly where you're going to be training at. So our next goal is really just to get up to gold tier, uh, gold tier rarity. Uh, get enough points we're going to double pack before we grab our our three player armor vest so double packing is 1500 or 15,000 points but double play armor vest is or triple play armor vest is 13 or is 10,000 points i don't want to use the money for um for the three play before i pack before i double pack now we got enough points to be able to double uh, double pack so i'll see if we can grind up to um up to mood 25,000 points. We're at almost 400 kills. You really want to be at 400 kills by about, um, or 400 crits by about, uh, by about round 20. Really want to be at 500 crits by about round 20. After we are fully maxed out, both with perks, or excuse me, both with our armor and our weapon rarity, that's when I go ahead and start grinding towards 30,000 points for a tool pack. If your weapon is good at level 26 and it's like, and it's, and it's still only pack two um, in gold, go ahead and go to like, go ahead and go to the round 31 and then exfil. Cause you'll get a crap ton of, of, of uh, kills. But a lot of weapons are, a lot of the weapons are really, really weak. So they won't even make it to level 31, even max level. At this point, I'm really just kind of chilling. Grinding up to 30,000 points. So I can triple pack. I don't need to go and buy no extra perks or anything like that. But this is where I'm going to pretty much do my uh, training. Remember to stay tuned on your mini map to see if there are zombies coming from behind you. Uh, there is another good spot. If you are really good and you want to make the routes flip through really quickly, that's this spot up here. Just open up this door. Is a spot next to PhD. Don't open up this door right here. Um, so that way the zombies don't come from behind me, but this is a really good spot as well. It has what, for my testing, it has the fastest zombie spawns in the game. You can flip through rounds so quickly. So 
so this is a good this is a good place to come if if you are really good advanced if you have a bunch of equipment all that kind of stuff this is a good spot this will get you through the route so very fast but it is high risk high reward because there's no ammo cache over here so if you run out of ammo you're kind of sol uh there is um there is no crafting station over here so if you die or go down or need extra items you have to leave all the way out of here and all the zombies spawn from here here and then from the direct set you came from so going to be a challenge okay. <laughs> going to be a challenge to get back so i want to show you guys uh how to exhale so when it comes to exhaling um because i don't need i don't need to uh, go all the way up to around 30 months for this weapon's already gold um when it comes to exhaling if you're down here your best bet duck me your best bet is just take this elevator straight up. It takes you right near the exhale location. And then I'm gonna show you the best path to take to always get to a, the easy boat from here. So let's say you're deciding to, to exhale around 21, around 26, around 31. You're gonna come on down here, hit this. I'm going to buy stamina up. Buy access to this door. You go run straight down here. Straight through this like little garage in engineering. Run directly over here. Yep, yeah, just making sure. Run directly over here. Down this way. If this, it'll spawn right here. And you're going to go all the way around this way to the right. The reason I don't like to go around to the other way is because it takes you head on to the zombies, like to where, like where the majority of them are. Now, if you have enough time to stop at a crafting station, a chopper gunner is awesome here. But if you got already any sort of support equipment, that's a point of equipment be really good. Um, but I would say for the most part, if you're solo, if you're doing this anytime before round 30, you have about 45 zombies or so. Yeah, right there. 45 zombies or so, uh, which means if you're if you're like headshot active like 80%, you'll probably only have about 32, get 32 headshots. So if you're like trying to like get out of here with just the right amount of headshots left over, then just know that you probably only need about 32 extra headshots. Um, be cautious. This wrap, if you if it flies up here too far, it'll block the button, the prompt to be able to actually go on a helicopter. That's all the tips and a lot of the questions I've gotten asked. If there are questions that I'm not did I answer in this video for you guys. Be sure to one, come over to stream and you can be able to ask them. I'd love to help you guys out live. Two, you can put them down in the comment section down below. And then also three, be sure to subscribe because right now, even though I am just focusing strictly on camo grinding and not really uploading videos right now, after the camo grind is done, I will have all of my best camo grinding tips for every single weapon class. If you have enjoyed this video, if it's helped you out at all, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you do want to know more about what the best gobble gums are, to use during your combo grind, check out this video here where I break down my top best gobble gums and I give you my three best gobble gum packs that I personally crafted to help you out with your camo grind. Have a beautiful goddamn day and I'll see you in this video.